right. One of the things I've noticed uh, with some of my clients who have recently converted over to the new Wix blog is that their text links and old, I should say, blog elements are missing on the pages. So even though when you convert to the new blog, Wix automatically creates 301 redirects and so forth um, for you, it does not recreate any of those little elements that are on the pages themselves. So this is kind of a problem because if you have um, different feeds or, or things or, or recent post lists on your pages, they have now disappeared if you've converted to the new blog. So what I wanted to show you is how to add those elements back into any pages that are missing. Um, so what you want to do is come over here, go to one of the pages in the editor that you want to add that missing element to, and then click on my blog, then click up here on uh, add blog elements. This is going to give you options for custom feeds as well as a recent post feed. So the custom feeds allow you to choose a category to display, whereas the recent posts just show the most recent posts. Um, I'm going to just drop one in here to show you how they look and also show you how to select uh, categories. Now when we drop these in initially, um, and what I usually tell people to do is to create one of these and get it all looking the way you want and then go back and recreate all the other ones um, or I shouldn't say recreate all the other ones, but copy and paste it onto the other pages once you've created one that you like. So we'll do this one first. And I'm trying to get it down into place. Um, here I was making a little room. Um, and notice that I was using, if I select on multiple items, it gives me this little drag tool, which allows me to kind of bump everything down in place. Um, you can also use the stretch tool to kind of pull up if there's extra space. So these are just little tricks on um, how, to, how to kind of make Wix do what you want. There's also the page height, um, which gets set kind of by the elements on the page. So you can kind of click on this and then click on page height to get that up and get rid of some of that extra space. Now let's go back here. So let's get this centered in this space here. And you'll notice that Wix does have handy little centering um, guidelines. When you get it centered, a pink line shows up. So click on this, then click on settings. We're going to go into the design of this and change the color. Um, right now, the page titles are um, kind of disappearing over that black. So I'm going to change the post background. I like white for blog posts because it's just a little easier to see uh, and read long text. Um, so we'll leave that. And then um, the next step is Let's say we don't want these little default, the views, the comments, the little heart, uh, those are likes. Uh, come up here to display. And you'll see here we can take off some of these extra things that are showing up in this feed to get rid of those extra things. This feed doesn't show all of them anyway, like reading time doesn't show up, neither does publish date um, by default, but some of the other layouts may do that and I, um, you can turn them on and off here. Uh, and then you can also select here is where you can select your category. So if you want to display just a certain um, grouping of posts, then what you can do is create a category for those posts and then put all of those posts in that category. And then you can select that category to display just those posts for this page. Um, in this case, I'm just going to leave it on all posts, but feel free to create categories and select one to show specific posts if you want, if they're appropriate to each individual page. Now I'm going to close out of this. And now I have it pretty much the way I want it. Now you can also adjust under this display, um, or actually I should say layout. Um, you can choose these other layouts. If you do, it sometimes reverts back to the original design. So do this first and then do your design updates. Otherwise, you've kind of got to redo that work. No big deal. But um, there's also here where you can show different numbers of rows. So you can just show two, one row or two rows. Um, and then you can also show set, you know, all posts if you want to do it that way as well. So um, I say two rows or one row is, is fine. Um, now we have this piece and now we can go ahead and add it to other pages um, by simply uh, copying and pasting. So I'm just clicking on uh, right clicking and I'm going to copy this element and then let's find another page that may be missing that blog element. I believe all of these pages have that problem. So I'll use this little drag tool here and kind of drag down to make some room 
and then I'll right click and paste. Um, you can also use, use Command V, Command C for copy paste as well. Um, when I paste it, it's not necessarily going to be pasting right where I want it, so just drag it around so it's centered till you see that little center line. Um, and then make sure that your spacing down here looks good. And the, the way I'm selecting on multiple items is I click on one and then I hold down the shift button and click on the next item and then I can um, adjust it using that little handy drag tool. And again, this page now has a whole bunch of extra space, so let's make it smaller. Sorry, I keep rolling over that Corvid thing. And again, the page height was kind of bumped down as well, so I have to click on this background and get that up here and kind of until I'm happy with where this height is. Uh, so there we go. So now you have some recent posts here. Again, if you want to adjust which posts show up, you can come here to display and then choose a category to show specific posts that you have categorized. Uh, you could also show featured posts only if desired. Um, so that's what you would do to go in and, and update those missing blog elements on um, the new or on, on Wix websites once you've converted from the old blog to the new blog. Just make sure that any pages that you had those little elements embedded on that you come in here and you add them again. Um, there are several different styles, so feel free to take a look at the different ones and play around with them. Um, you can also add an RSS feed if you'd like here. So those are just little things that might not carry over when you do the conversion, but it's a simple fix of getting it. One downside is they don't have the list form. Um, the old blog had a list, a recent post list, where it was just text lists uh, with link, like text links basically to each blog post. I'm hoping that Wix is working on adding that. I don't know why that's not added. It can be done using Corvid Wix code, but um, that's a little above most people's um, expertise, so uh, I would just suggest using these other feeds for now until those text feeds are available once again. Um, but these ones are nice too because they do show a picture and they're just kind of a little bit more in-depth, um, I think, looking. so. Um, and just remember, if you want to change the text or the design of it, um, you can adjust your, your font, you can adjust um, uh, the color, the... Uh, the background and those sort of things here. And make sure it always in Wix to scroll down because a lot of times there's additional stuff down below if there's a scroll bar. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know and happy Wixen.